everybody and welcome to another video. You can't deny it, we've all made impulse buys. And with a leader, it's those dang options and exclusive bargains that are oh so tempting. So quiz time. Have you ever gotten your leader item and one of these apply? One, this doesn't go with anything I have. Two, I already have something like this. Three, promo picks look different. Four, it doesn't fit me. Five, meh, it's all right, I don't like it or tries to justify getting it. Or six, I can't even remember getting this. So the aim of this video will be my top tips to avoid impulse purchases on leader fashion. Uh, while it's not going to stop you avoiding all of them, um, I hope this would kind of help you save your funds for those items you truly want and identify if it's an impulse buy. I always find it's just a lot more easy to buy things compared to selling them when you realize you don't actually want the item. So my first tip would be to check sizing. Uh, first off, there are some nice dimensions on Lolly Library um, and you should always measure these against yourself to make sure it fits in the first place. Attention should be paid to shoulders, width, bust, hips, waist and dress length for taller leaders, as well as checking out general searches to see if the dress runs small. Constantly check your measurements with the use of a measuring tape instead of just the approximation uh, to try to avoid this easy mistake. Uh, you could really love an item, but unless you plan to pay more money to get it altered, it's going to be hard if it doesn't fit. So another tip that I absolutely love is seeing owner pictures. Uh, secondly, since promo or company picks are made to actually try to sell you the item, uh, they only kind of show you the best of it. Um, I would recommend seeing if you can find any owner pictures of the dress being worn, um, or like blog reviews or YouTube reviews of the item, since it kind of reveals things that you may have not realized uh, that may change your mind about actually buying the item, or even better, make you fall in love with it even more. Um, I've had this with quite a few dresses I've been tempted to buy, where it looked great on the mannequin, but after seeing owner pictures with the dress under different lighting or coordinates, uh, sometimes it gives you a better idea of the fabric or reflects the shades and colors, um, re represents the dress cuts better uh, with what you expect, and for one thing, um, yeah, a lot of them I realized, are okay, you know, looks great probably on other people, but wouldn't look great on me. So here's another thing that I would recommend is to always have a wish list. Um, a wish list allows you to actually have a look at that item that you're thinking of getting and compare, should I just save up for the item I truly want? Do I really want this item? Um, this kind of ties in with kind of helping you when you're going through sale threads and where it's oh so tempting to get something, but if you do actually have a, a particular item in mind, um, then yeah, it kind of keeps you on track. So my final tip would be to ask yourself, do I need this? Uh, why is because if you have already a nearly identical or better item at home, you're probably just going to be using the better item um, of the two you have for a coordinate that requires it. For example, the two pair of socks here I have are very similar. Um, so this one's the Alice and the Pirates one and this one's Innocent World. Um, I find the Alice and the Pirate one is a lot more versatile uh, because the Innocent World has a lot of the green. But at the time I was like, oh yes, the Innocent World socks are so cute, it's red as well. But yeah, they're just way too similar to my other pair and I just end up, whenever there's the opportunity to have a coordinate that works, I'm going to use the Alice and the Pirate socks. So yeah, you just end up using... The, the one that's more versatile and yeah, there's no point buying anything too similar. In addition, I kind of like to try put off buying a purchase for two weeks and like this is for the ones that I don't have planned on my wish list. And if you still um, want it, then, you know, that kind of gives you like a better period to like think about it versus something where, yeah, you just go ahead and be like, oh yeah, that looks nice. I'm going to get it. So if you forget it by the two weeks, it's definitely an impulse buy. Not always possible, that's what options are for, but if you have the opportunity with the buy it now, um, and the exception to this rule would be if it's on your wish list and you've had a lot of time to go through the other tips I've mentioned and you know that you don't want to risk out on the item. So um, my Tilia Boz jacket was on my wish list for like six months and when I finally saw one come up for second hand, like, like sizing worked, it was in the right color, the price range was right, so I was just like, okay, I'm just going to grab it. So that's where I would say go for it. So I hope that helped in regards to some tips to avoid impulse buying. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. And thanks for watching. Ta-ta for now. Bye.